Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video today, or this week actually. We're doing a little bit something different. Um, we're gonna be visiting uh, the WRC race here in Sweden, uh, where I just arrived in Ulmea. Uh, I've never been to a WRC race in my life. I've actually never even watched a WRC race on TV in my life. So, gonna be a completely new experience. Can't wait to check it out. As you can expect, the Rally of Sweden is, well, as you can see, snowy. Snow everywhere. So, it's cold. Can't wait to get started tomorrow morning and check all the cars out, check all the drivers, uh, see uh, how they're gonna be doing. Uh, I think tomorrow is the shakedown, so they're doing a little bit of testing, but honestly can't wait to check out my first WRC week. So, see you guys tomorrow. So uh, we're closing on, in on the track. However, we go up the hill. With, a, with a little uh, detour through, uh, through the snow. You can go straight. <laughs> you can go straight. <laughs> I'm not going to do that in my Nike Air Forces. They're soaked already. Yeah, for people going to Rally Sweden or a rally with, oh, with snow, don't go in your Nike Air Forces. Buy some proper snowshoes. Because mine are soaked. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> what are you I laughing? saw your shoes, I must have, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal. I mean, we've been walking through to the snow trenches. <laughs> oh, sh I keep almost falling over. But, um, not being my smartest move. Putting on sneakers. At least the road is getting better. See there. We don't have to walk through these holes all the time anymore. So, uh, at least we're having fun. I'm having fun. I'm definitely having fun. Okay, I just actually heard the first car stops. I wonder how long it takes uh, to get there. But he's still somewhere back there in the, in the bush. In the bush, bush. I don't know how long the shakedown usually does. But uh, he should come around there. as well. I think the next one is about to come. It takes like two three minutes for the next car to come around. I'm no I've no idea if it's just WRC cars or also WRC two cars. They went a bit wider. Yeah that was Cherry Neuville. He was in race check last week as well. third car. I went a bit further up here but I fell through the snow again like five times so I'm quite done with movement. I'm just gonna stay here until they're finished because I can't be arsed falling another five times through the snow. But uh, now I can see that corner a little bit better. So that's cool. Although I am tempted to walk all the way over there and check out what's behind there because I'm just curious you know.
Noori pudratus seda vist. And this is what's in love. I'm not, uh, not very good at this vlogging stuff yet. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this takes, the shakedowns, but... Uh, I'm standing here nicely, I can see like two corners, whereas when I was standing back over there, I could only see like this straight little bit, so... I saw a loop, like hitting the snowbank a few times over there when he went by. So, uh, he was f***ing on it already. Yeah, we're not going to What are we doing, Dave? We're what? going to the service park. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to the service park. Oh Dave yeah. Just on there. Have you have you have you ever been to uh, Rally? Um, uh, not yet. No, first time. Uh, yeah, same for me. Uh, I have never even watched Rally in my life before. Oh, life, life. I've seen the clips, of course, but but you drove yourself. Uh, I don't know, not the sim, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I'm still uh, figuring out how everything works. You know? And race of champions. Yeah. And race of champions, yeah, of course. <laughs> but, um, we're in the service park now, where I think they are servicing cars. <laughs> now, this is like the, the paddock, I suppose, um, where all teams are located, repairing cars, etc. Let's go see. There's Toyota, which is massive. There's, I think, like a smaller team, probably a WRC2 team, but yeah, I think this is their kind of motorhome, but then, or rally. Ah, oh, putain, it's the French guy! <laughs> And this year is our... Uh, Morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 And we also have, for a live television stages, uh, it goes through... Now, if you've ever wondered how TV production works for WRC, it's a bit of a nightmare, as you can imagine, because they keep going to different places. Apparently, there's going a plane around all day, sending a signal or receiving signal from the cars, uh, because every car has their onboard camera, of course. And then the plane uh, receives it through this crane. Or, but uh, is the crane? We've got a crane? I don't know. Uh, might have butchered that, but. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how that works. You see, we're on a, on a football field here. Although, you can't really see it's a football field anymore. But yeah, we're in the middle of the service area. You can see there are all the, all the teams. Standing there, we're just like off into the production area, pretty much chilling. So, yeah, first thing Idro says, <laughs> What <laughs> happens if you Imagine get run you over? Someone runs over your hand, the style. <laughs> Look at this, you shouldn't get a run over in the first place. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what are you all about? <laughs> yeah, we just had busing food. In the uh, WRC catering chart, you're still smiling. Uh, <laughs> with uh, good food in the WRC catering, nice. Now we're gonna uh, go to a press conference, I think so. It's the process, everything up to this point. I've, I've had a smile on my face, you know, pretty much all the way through. That's the most important thing for me to continue on from, uh, from this weekend. Okay, Craig, thank you very much. Take it. Let's turn to you now. We talked just now at the meet the crew stage. Is the big question on different yeah. matters like uh, watermelon? Uh -huh. What was it? So we got a little tour in the motorhome of Hyundai. As you can see, it's pretty cool. You can like uh, there's screens inside where you can see the garage non-stop or inside the garage non-stop, so you can see what. Uh, the team is doing at all times, so that's cool. I also spoke to Cyril Abitable. He still recognized me from uh, four years ago, five years ago, when I was in the Renault Academy, and then later I joined the esports team, of course. So it was impressive that he uh, recognized me without me saying anything. Unfortunately, I didn't get to speak to Thierry Neuvelli yet, uh, as you can see. 
That's his car right there. He was the race champions last week, met him there, spoke to him for a bit as well. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, cool to uh, see him drive again. I saw him this morning on the shakedown already. The shakedown is, of course, just a little bit of practice for them, uh, make sure the setup is all right. Now, uh, in a few hours' time, it's gonna be the real deal. Stage one, can't wait to see them uh, actually push over the limit, on the limit. The rally usually is a little bit over the limit. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, I saw this morning there were quite a lot of drivers that already got some damage on the rear bumper from like using the snow banks a little bit on the outside to correct the slides. Um, I hit a few in race champions as well. Of course, you can get away, away with it a little bit. You can wall ride a little bit uh, until it actually grabs the snow bank. <laughs> um, then, you, uh, then you're in trouble. But yeah, you can use them a little bit to your advantage. And I think that's what they were doing as well. So yeah. Last stage, and you don't make it to the podium. You're not going to the podium. <laughs> 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 As I told you before, uh, we are talking about pressure of 7 or 8 bars, so that's why we have this kind of cages. In case something happens or the tire breaks at 8 bars, it's gonna be quite a big explosion. So that's why we prefer to put it here for the safety of the guys. We, we, uh, we fit the, the tire with the stripping uh, machine, so we do it again. Yeah, as you can see with the correct uh, things, it's a little bit easier to work. So, um, stage one is not far away now anymore. Uh, I think there's about to be an opening ceremony right behind me. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen there, but um, as you can see, we got the WRC cars right in front of us here. Uh, this one is from Cherry Noville. No idea from what from who that one is. Uh, it's from the Estonian guy. Then uh, we got another Red Bull colored car here. And then behind that are some WRC two cars. So. Um, Actually, that's another uh, WRC car back there. But yeah, stage one is gonna be in the dark then, obviously, because it's already dark. It's only five o'clock, I think so. But uh, it's already got dark like an hour ago, because we're quite far up the north. It's obviously gonna get dark earlier. But um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what this, um, what this opening ceremony is gonna be about. So yeah, can't wait to uh, see what's gonna happen. So yeah, I'm at this opening ceremony now, and there's just loads of stuff to do. This is like merchandise store. I might go in there in a sec. Actually, might go in there now. I kind of want to buy something, but I don't know what. So. Uh, Moments later. So as you can see, I uh, bought uh, a beanie. Can you call this a beanie? I'm not sure, but. Um, yeah, bought one so my ears can be warmer and my head and I can cover my ES haircut because my trim is in the mud. But uh, anyway, I got one from the organization. It had a Toyota logo on it so I didn't really want to use that because 
I'm with, as you can see, Mercedes at the end of the day. That's why I got this one, this beautiful beanie. Uh, as you can see here, there are some sims. I'm just, I'm tempted, you know? Maybe there's a leaderboard somewhere that I can try and demolish. But uh, I kind of want to try, especially the ones uh, that I practice a lot. Uh, Britbiat, I think it's called. Yeah, I might try that later. I'm not sure where this opening ceremony is because I lost the squad I was with. So I'm not sure where I'm heading now, but I'm sure this opening ceremony is somewhere around here because there are loads of, loads of people in this area. So I'll find it. You can see there's a huge mountain thingy where people are sliding off all the way over there. So um, I might try that because. I'm a child. I spotted a dog. I won the dog as well. So the first stage just started. Uh, the least broken pirate just started. If I pronounce the name right. Um, it just started like one minute ago. Let's get to it there. Huge screen. And I'm going to try and send up the finish. And you know what I'm going to do? Let's see if you can hear the car. Let's see if you can hear the car. Let's see if you can hear the car. Morgong er jo også rett før den svingen Evans gjorde av her i fjor, så her vil dere også kunne få intervjuene. Målgangen er her når de hopper forbi vår ansiden til høyre om oss her. Målgangen! Ja, og til det er mange meter igjen. Og da gjør de med hestskolen borta hos er, borta vi i aktivitetsområdet der, for det er jätteheftigt å se om rundt hestskolen. Og så kommer de frem til målet, så minner de hopper tilbake inn. Vi ser det her, Morgong! Det er altså en... 3,28,3! 3,28,3! 5 sekunder er langsomt! Så WC1 har jeg bare fint. Jeg har bare sett først. To kars går rundt. Etter at jeg ble litt kaldt. Jeg er litt tørt, fordi jeg ble opp tidlig denne morgen. Jeg ble stående i den kaldt hele dagen. Jeg måtte varme opp litt. Nå er vi tilbake. Fordi jeg... I think I have to leave in like three minutes, so the bus is going soon already. So I have to head back. Shame I didn't get to drive on the Sims anymore. I'm not sure if they're here tomorrow or if we're around tomorrow, but if um, if they are they are around tomorrow and I'm here as well, then uh, sure. But I'm not sure where we're we heading uh, tomorrow, to be honest. So we will see. Today was a lot of fun. Tiring though, because it's been a long day uh, in the cold and walking through snow with wet socks and wet shoes, which is my own fault. I should have prepared a bit better for uh, for this, but um, yeah, uh, it is what it is. It was a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait for tomorrow, to be honest, and see uh, yeah, how that goes, how, uh, who's going to be the fastest. So, yeah. Oh, okay. I've last time I've had almost double so many Peda, but I've had almost the same amount. Yeah, so uh, lads, I just... Um, just build this uh, snow castle real quick, you know, just uh, just for fun. Yeah, I was bored, you know, but uh, yeah, just finished it. Might uh, continue on it tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That looks sick though. You also get these random tents. It tends to be a lot in Sweden. Was it race champions as well, these tents? I think it's just uh, when it's cold, you can like hide in them or something. I don't know. But see them a lot um, anyway just at dinner I am tired not gonna lie left this morning at like 7 stood all day pretty much in the cold watching rally cars my feet have finally dried up from uh, this morning because we had to walk through the very thick snow so yeah feet were soaked but sorted now we're going back uh, back to the hotel and uh, yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, very early up again. It's like 10 now. Leave at 7 for stage 2. Bradby, the, the, the stage I did on uh, WC Generations where I got the world record. Uh, against uh, this guy called Jimmy Broadbent. But uh, um, yeah, can't wait uh, to, uh, to go to the Bradby stage tomorrow. It's like half an hour drive from our hotel. So can't wait.
actual Bradby stage, the one where uh, I got the world record at on the WRC game. So that's very cool because I actually remember the part we're sending at right now. So uh, that's very cool. First two cars already went by, I think the first six. Very cool, as you can see. Uh, I have no idea what temperature it is, but honestly, no, it feels like minus 20. Definitely not minus 20. But uh, I'm freezing. Very windy. It makes it very cold. As I was walking, going by, flying. Uh, he was doing the last in the opening uh, stage. So uh, he's starting to uh, feel comfortable in WRC2. So I can't wait to go back and be warm actually.